What is the purpose of this monk mode trend? To keep improving? For what, my friend? Counting days without social media? Just another chase? Ask yourself, does it really lead to a deeper grace? In the pursuit of roots, don't we lose our way? Just like schools made colored life turn into grey. Stop the nonsense, don't follow the trend. Just ask yourself, what is my intent? For what do you seek in this endless race? Just to drive around or really find your place? Monk mode is number one trending, but to 99% just another pleasure chase. Many count their weeks without alcohol. Many count their days off of social media. Many count their minutes of mindful meditation. Have you ever asked yourself the goal behind all of this? What it is that you want to get from monk mode? Have you ever asked this, my friend? I will not ask you to pause here to question this really for yourself because a serious person does this already. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old. Did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people. I started making videos in 2012. I share this because you have been conditioned to care about numbers and appearance. But the truth is that it is effectiveness over appearance that works. So is it effective? Is my question to you. This monk mode, is it effective? Did monk mode give you what you want? Did the leading social media give you what you want? Did solitude give you what you want? Or did you just follow these rules in hope for better? Let's be real for once, all right? Following rules, these monk mode rules, make you a follower, right? Do you see that following never gets you anywhere apart from becoming a really good follower? Belief is belief, and belief can lead to a tremendous amount of suffering after you realize what you believed wasn't true at all. The truth is felt, and truth is realized after testing something for yourself when you examine your own results. And monk mode has become a set of roots to follow. So instead of following roots, find out for yourself what works. But most importantly, ask yourself what it is that you want from it. Or just in general, what do you want? Is it freedom from the mind? Freedom from this inner voice inside of you that you think almost anyone thinks is normal? That is what I want, freedom from this voice inside of my head that has caused a tremendous amount of unnecessary struggle and pain. So my question, will meditation help me to disarm the mind, to strip it away from its weapons? Or maybe better said, to not hear it anymore. And if meditation does that, is that just temporarily? Or will it help me with that for good? Will social media, or not being on social media, help me Get rid of this inner voice. I won't answer this for you because I can't. But I have another question. Are you looking to improve yourself? And if yes, for what? Or for who? Until when? Please be serious about this. Why do you want to improve? Because if I'm being honest, I did a lot of those habits that are part of these monk mode rules. I did them because I just thought it would be good for me that I might, you know, these success habits that you become more successful because of it. But do you understand what that really means? Or are you just doing it like me before because you think it is good for you? Are you reading 10 pages of a book per day but without solving a real problem in your life? I read many books. At one point I had a morning routine of two and a half hours filled with reading, exercise, ice baths, meditation, journaling, affirmations, vision boards, cold showers, and so on. A waste of time that I never get back, stupidity, all nonsense. But don't listen to me and, 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 and now assume that it is, because that won't work, that is a belief. Do you see that? If you believe me when I say that reading books didn't help me, then you are not looking at your own results from reading those books, but it is doing exactly that that will make you understand instead of believe. Please repeat this part if you did not fully understand what I said here. So are you reading and all, doing all these habits, doing monk mode, because you think it will help you improve? I did, because I thought they improved me. But what does this really mean if I didn't know what I want? You see, I thought I was improving, but at the same time, I did not know what I really wanted. So how can you be improving? And how can you ever get somewhere if it is all about improving something? Instead, how about using all of that precious time that you are spending maybe right now or have spent at least that i have spent how about taking all of that time and putting it into thinking finding out what you want instead 
This is for the serious person. Everyone else is unserious after they see this for themselves. And, and I really, when I look at everyone else in my life, it really seems like everyone is escaping from this very question. Distracting themselves with TV, dinner parties, gatherings, exercise, going to the gym and doing monk mode. So my question to you, will you keep distracting yourself? Because the question sits quietly in the corner of your room right now. So will you keep looking the other way? Or will you finally start to crawl towards it, face it, touch it, feel it, find it? This is the question. And now that you know this, now that you know that this corner of your room exists, it is up to you. Will you keep wasting your life? Or will you find out what it is all about for you? I don't have much more to say. In fact, I maybe said too much. Too much filler words. Too much unnecessary minutes of your time. So may you see through all this filler in this video. May you see through all the filler in your life, you see? May you find a way to your heart a way back to that inner flame and light it for the rest of your life. Only the serious person may check the show notes. Talk soon.